Hey guys, welcome back to the Docker series. We have the custom image that we built with us in our system. What if we want to use that image across different environments, like if you want to move it to QA, staging and production environments. We should store that image somewhere so that we can pull that image in different environments. That place where we store our images is called registry. So once we build the image, we push it to the Docker registry. Then that image can be pulled into any environment. In fact, we can share it with the public. Let's see how we can push the Spring Boot image that we built to the registry and use it in a different environment. So without any further delay, let's get started. Well, this is our Spring Boot image that we built. Let's try to push this image to Docker registry. There are different registry options available like Docker Hub. This is the public repository where we can push our images and everyone can access them. Just like we used our Mongo image. If you remember, we pulled it from Docker Hub. Also, we have cloud services like Amazon ECR and Azure Container Registry, etc. In fact, we can host our own registry. For this, Docker provides an image called registry. I will give you the link in the description on how to set up your own registry. Feel free to comment if I need to make a video on this. I will be happy to do that. For this course, let's see how we can push images to AWS ECR and how we can pull those images on a different mission as AWS is widely used cloud provider in the market. But more or less, the same steps apply for any registry with few modifications. Let's try to log into AWS console. For that, just Google AWS console and go to AWS management console. I am assuming that you have basic knowledge of AWS services. If not, don't worry. I will try to explain the things as we move. By the way, I am planning to make a video series on AWS services. If you are interested, please let me know in the comment section. Let's try to log into AWS console. So this is my email ID. Enter the captcha. Enter your password. If you don't have AWS account, you can create one. Now click on the services and search for ECR. You can see the elastic container registry here. As I didn't push any images to this account, I don't see anything here. Let's try to create a repository. In AWS, we should create a separate repository for every image. We can push multiple versions of our image to this repository. Let's click get started. Here we should give the repository name. As our application is to do iPhone API, let's give the same name as the repository name. You can give any name that you would like to and let's make it as a private registry if it is a private repository one should authenticate before pulling the images when you select the public repository anyone can pull your images let's go and click on create repository our repository is created and this is our repository uri every repository has an uri and the format of the uri is account number dot dkr dot ecr dot now we are in the US East 1 region. Dot Amazon AWS dot com slash your repository name. So let's try to push our image to this repository. To see what are the commands needed to push an image to this repository, just select your repository and click on this view push commands. These are the commands that we should run to push an image to the ECR. We cannot push the images from the AWS console. We should push our images from the terminal or command line. As a first step, we should retrieve an authentication token and authenticate our Docker client to this registry. For that, we will be using AWS CLI. Let's copy this command by clicking on this icon. Now open your terminal. Just like we logged into management console before using our AWS services, we should log into the AWS from the terminal as well. For that, we will be using AWS access keys. If you don't have AWS CLI installed, I will give the link in the description to install AWS CLI on your system. Also, I will provide a link on how to get your access keys and log into AWS using AWS CLI. So on my system, I logged into AWS from the terminal. So now I'll be pasting the command that we copied. So this will authenticate our Docker client with the AWS ECR registry. Let's hit enter. Awesome, login is successful. So now we authenticated our Docker client with AWS ECR. Let's try to list the repositories that we have. AWS ECR describe iPhone repositories. If you see, this is the repository that we just created. Now let us see what is the next command that we should use to push our image. 
next we should build the image we don't need to run this command as our image is already ready with us and we also use the same docker build command to build our image so once the image is ready we should tag our image so that we can push that to this repository so let's copy this command clear the screen and paste it here so our image is to do iphone api 1.0.2 so basically we are renaming our image here let's hit enter let's try to list the images now docker images if you see a new image is created with a different name basically this copy is the same image with the different name if you see the size is same 496 mb so once we renamed our image we should push our image to the registry with this command let's paste it here and our image name is 1.0.2 now let's hit enter if you see the different layers are being pushed to the aws ecr awesome our image is now pushed to the aws ecr repository let's verify it in the management console let's close this and get into this repository if you see 1.0.2 version is here you can push different versions of your image to this repository now let's change some code and build a different version of the image and let's try to push that version to the aws ecr i'm just changing the size to be 512 here and just saving it and go to terminal and build docker build iphone t to do iphone api 1.0.3 so here we are building a different version of our spring boot image space dot enter okay the new version of our image is ready let's verify that docker images here we go so now let's try to rename this image to include the aws ecr domain i will tell you in a while why we actually need to rename this image so if you want to find out the command for that let's go to ecr view push commands and this was the command that we used so now we should change the latest to 1.0.3 1.0.2 let's hit enter now we rename the image let's verify that here we go now let's try to push the image to ecr 1.0.3 awesome we pushed the image let's verify that by refreshing this list if you see 1.0.3 version is here in this way we can push multiple versions of our image to this repository in aws you should create a separate repository for each image in other docker registries you can push different images to single repository but with aws separate repository for each image well we pushed our image to the registry now it's time for us to pull this image in a different environment for that as a test environment i launched an ec2 instance if you don't know what is ec2 instance you can assume it as a different computer so you can log into that computer with ssh so if you see now i am on a different computer which is using ubuntu as os in this instance i installed docker aws cli also i logged into aws if you list down the images here i'm sorry if you list down the images here it is not having permission so so we should add sudo docker images if you see there are no images here please note that this is not my local computer this is aws ec2 instance which is a different computer altogether so you can assume this as your qa environment so now we pushed our image from our dev environment to registry and we are pulling the same image in the qa environment from that registry to pull the image just like we used to pull from the docker hub docker pull to do iphone api colon 1.0.3 but wait a second how would docker know that it has to pull from your aws ecr account as we have seen every aws account will have a unique account number so we should mention from which repository we are trying to pull our image so here we should give the registry domain if we don't give any registry name docker automatically considers it as docker.io slash library so this is the reason whenever we do docker pull image name it was pulling from the docker hub so now in order to pull from our aws ecr we should give the aws ecr domain name here 
so this was the exact reason why we were renaming our images before pushing it to registry so let's delete this and give our aws ecr domain name so now it will pull this image from the aws ecr domain that we given with this specific version or tag let's hit enter if you see the image is being pulled as you see we downloaded the newer image let's verify that with sudo docker images here we go so we have our to do api image with 1.0.3 tag of 496 mb so this is how you can share your images across different environments in fact you can share your images with the public if you push those images into the public repository AWS ECR charges a little amount for the storage of your images. So let's try to delete this repository for the sake of cleanup. So you can delete this repository by typing delete and clicking on this delete button. So our repository is now deleted. So this is how you can push your images to private repository. As a practice, you can push the React.js image that we built to the AWS ECR registry or any other registry. If you face any issues, please let me know in the comment section and I will answer your questions. My name is Pavan Iltapu and I thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.